What's up guys? Today we have a very special unboxing video. This right here is my order from WC Lathworks. Now, unlike some other companies who take, I don't know, six, seven, eight weeks to make one shift knob, I'm not gonna say who, I think you can figure it out. Chris actually put this out in a week. So I ordered it Monday. He notified me the following Monday that it was completed and I received it that Wednesday. So in this box, I have a shift knob and well, I don't know why I'm telling you, I'll just show you. So I'm gonna cut into this. I'm very excited about this. This is probably one of the coolest car parts I've ordered in a long time, but I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna open this because you really don't care about me talking. I know you wanna see what's inside. Very nice packaging. By the way, don't worry about my ring, my wing here. Uh, my paint is kind of screwed up anyhow, so I am not a you know paint freak or a paint Nazi. That's why I'm not worried about it. So for those of you who are paint Nazis and worry about how you treat your car and wash your car and all that, please don't freak out. Don't pee your pants. It's all right, okay? Oh, don't care. It's getting repainted like next year, so it's all good. In package number one, we have very heavy. I think this might be a shift knob. Very nice. He even labels everything. Very nice. I like that. That is organization right there. Here it is, folks. I don't want to drop it because I will dent my trunk or break my rear windshield because it is that heavy. I will weigh this uh, when I actually get home and I'll tell you how much it weighs exactly but I believe it's close to 500 grams, which is very heavy, and that's great for a shift knob. It's a big improvement over the factory shift knob. And the reason you want a heavier shift knob is it will make your shifts feel smoother. The more weight there is, the more inertia it will have when you shift, and the smoother your shifts are gonna feel. So if you can see this, it is stainless steel bead blasted finish. I probably will powder coat this. Um, because that's what I wanted and I'm, I would much prefer a nice grippy finish on it. So I'll probably powder coat this around September time frame or so once I get a powder coating gun and all that other good stuff. But I'm very impressed with this shift knob. It's very nice. It's quality. And I actually received it unlike some other shift knobs that I've ordered in the past. I don't know. So we're going to set this bad boy right there where he's safe. Next up we have... looks like a boot collar, which I also ordered. And what makes this boot collar special is it is not stainless steel. In fact, folks, it is titanium. Look how sick that is. So I ordered this titanium boot collar with the uh, blue finish on it, and this is going to look sick. Last piece, you could probably figure out what this is if you watch my other video where I ordered these parts. But we have a new reverse ring. Check it out. That is so sick. This work is amazing. You could tell that these are quality. In fact, Chris uses OEM parts to uh, you know, figure out how big to make these. So they're going to fit like OEM. They're not gonna be stupid or ratchet or crappy like some other companies, you know, they just kind of wing it. I know this is gonna be a precision. When I get a chance, I will install these. I'm not sure exactly when that's gonna happen, but I am very excited to have all these parts and I will annotate all the weights in these uh, so that you know exactly how much you know, it adds up to, but I am very excited about these parts. These cost a pretty penny, but it's really a great value for what you're getting, especially, like I said, considering titanium is expensive to begin with. Let's not litter. Um, but it, considering that titanium is expensive to begin with and the amount of work and precision that goes into making these parts, 
it's really not a bad price for what you're receiving. So props to WC Lathworks and Chris who does absolutely amazing work. I'm definitely gonna have some slider shots of these coming in, so stay tuned for that. I'll put it at the end of the video because I know you all stay for that. I also ordered a, let's not litter, that's not cool, a shift knob pouch, which is convenient. Not so much that you're gonna be, you know, uninstalling your shift knob and carrying it with you everywhere, but you could just throw this over top of the shift knob because it's metal and it's gonna get hot in the summer. And this insulates your hand rather than just touching a bare metal knob, which is very hot. So this is a great alternative other than socks because socks look kind of ratchet when, you know, non-car people get in your car and they wonder why the hell you have a sock on your shift knob. So this is a nice alternative to that. Very happy with that. I also ordered two WC Lathworks decals for my window. So I'm going to have to find somewhere to put these but these look to be good quality and I'm very happy to represent WC Lathworks because Chris is an awesome guy, he does awesome work. And like I said, most importantly, he gives good customer service. I'm not gonna say any more about that because I'm gonna get off on a rant, but I wanna thank you guys for watching this unboxing video and I'll catch you guys next time. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should because there's a lot more that goes on there, um, you know, before it hits the channel. So, long story short, six weeks ago at this point, I ordered a shift knob from Flossy and I still have not received it. Even on their Facebook page, they have a dismal 1.7 rating, which is a joke considering that Chad himself rated his own company five stars. How does that happen?